This is Mary Jane. You may know her a little better by her Spanish name, marijuana of the family Cannabis Sativa. Wherever you meet her, you'll also find a controversy brewing. Her detractors declare she's too dangerous to associate with. Her defenders say she not only is completely harmless, but entirely desirable. The truth about Mary Jane is somewhere between the two extremes. The most familiar form of this controversial substance is cigarettes, made from the ground upper leaves and flowering top of the female plant. Sometimes marijuana is smoked in a pipe or eaten in cookies, cakes, or other forms. Marijuana legally falls under the Narcotic Act, but it is not a narcotic. It is a mild psychedelic drug which in sufficient dosage causes a person to hallucinate. That is, imagine he sees or feels certain things. Most people begin using the drug out of curiosity or in search of a thrill. Use of marijuana is growing rapidly in the United States, particularly among teenagers. Estimates are that nearly 8 million Americans have tried marijuana at least once, and 2.3 million use it more or less regularly. It is calculated that 675 million marijuana cigarettes were smoked in this country in 1967. Most of the marijuana used in the United States comes from Mexico. Even the name is borrowed from south of the border. It is widely produced in most other countries, including the United States, even though it is illegal to grow, sell, or possess the drug in this country. The appearance of the marijuana plant belies its effect on the user. It grows about five feet tall with a hollow, square-like stalk up to two inches in thickness. Its long, narrow, green leaflets are raggedly pointed and grow irregularly on olive-colored stems. When burning, marijuana has a distinctive, heavy, sweetish odor. Smoking marijuana usually has certain characteristic effects on the mind and body. First, it causes an exaggerated, carefree sense of well-being. It heightens emotions at first. In some, this mood may progress quickly to irritability, excitability, and even violence. The response in others is similar to a sedative. Marijuana impairs judgment, often with frightening consequences. It causes certain individuals to become aggressive and belligerent. Still others, when deprived of marijuana, after becoming psychologically dependent upon it, become so irrational that they become homicidal or suicidal. Actually, it would be incorrect to say that marijuana will have these detrimental effects on everyone. Both the dosage and individual response to the drug are unpredictable. There is no way to determine the potency of an illegal drug such as marijuana. It has not been proved that use of marijuana will lead to a need for heavier narcotics. But repeated research has shown that many heroin addicts began their drug careers by smoking marijuana. Many studies tend to relate the use of marijuana to crime. It may be that certain individuals already had criminal tendencies. Perhaps these tendencies became evident or exaggerated after the use of marijuana. It is certainly true that the marijuana user is frequently exposed to other drugs. Because marijuana is illegal, a user frequently comes in contact with other illegal drugs, including heroin and opiates, while trying to satisfy his desire for marijuana. He is thus more likely to experiment with the other heavier drugs. Marijuana is not just a harmless hallucinogen that gives a quick, innocent thrill. A United Nations Commission concluded, the addict is soon a useless and harmful member of society. Marijuana can produce serious effects in some. One study made in New York reveals the conclusion seems warranted that given the potential makeup and the right time and environment, marijuana may bring on a true psychotic state. Marijuana seems to appeal especially to those who already have psychiatric problems. This may be just the push such a person needs to propel him into a major problem. The drug is not physically addicting, but the user often develops what is called a psychological drug dependence. He returns periodically to the drug in an effort to experience again the effects of it. It is difficult to say just how much danger is in a single marijuana cigarette. Controlled research indicates that a cigarette containing 1,500 micrograms of tetrahydrocannabinol, the active ingredient of marijuana, will cause a 150-pound man to feel giddy, happy, and relaxed. 
four times the dose, and he begins to hallucinate. Double it again, and psychotic episodes result. It is estimated that a strong Mexican marijuana cigarette contains about 6,000 micrograms. But no one knows exactly. Among other things, the marijuana user is a traffic hazard. Apparently, the drug causes a sense of exaggerated well-being and elation without curtailing physical activity. The user simply drives his car without regard for the dangers involved. There are some very good reasons why marijuana users should not drive. Marijuana causes hallucinations. The driver may see things on the road that are not actually there. Marijuana causes distortions of color and size. The driver may have faulty judgment and misinterpret what he sees. Distortion of time is another effect of the drug. A driver may misjudge time and delay decisions until it is too late to avoid an accident. Marijuana distorts distance. The driver cannot tell how fast he and other drivers are going. He therefore tends to become accident prone. How about marijuana and sex crimes? A person's sex drive is not increased by the use of marijuana, but some individuals become uninhibited and expansive under the influence of the drug and may commit various acts they normally would not do. The exact effects of long-term use of marijuana on the mind and body has not been determined. But one thing is certain, there are no long-range benefits to using marijuana. While most marijuana grown in the United States is mild, the Mexican variety is twice as strong. The Indian drug is three to five times as strong. The danger is the user never knows the strength of the dosage or what his own response to it will be. There is no known medicinal use for marijuana. It is not included in any known legitimate medical practice. Marijuana is not as habit-forming as alcohol, but it does share a number of alcohol's disadvantages. It produces a marijuana drug dependence. It does alter the mind, judgment, temperament, and inhibitions. It's like choosing between the bite of a cobra and a rattlesnake. When compared at their peak strength and in similar dosage, Marijuana is definitely stronger than alcohol and even barbiturates. Marijuana is not the only drug firmly limited by law. There are 1,600 other drugs covered by the drug abuse law. None of them can be taken wantonly and without supervision. Advocates of marijuana would like to be free to take the drug as they please. But in our modern society, it is almost impossible to do anything without affecting other people. Since the action of marijuana on certain people is uncertain and produces unpredictable behavior, it must be considered a dangerous drug. In addition to the violence it may produce, marijuana is reported to have caused deaths of people consuming it. One report tells of 15 out of 200 people who ingested the drug and developed permanent insanity. Four died. Much of the confusion about the effects of marijuana is the result of variation in dosage. Marijuana, sold on the illegal market, comes from many sources. It is impossible for the user to determine the strength of a dose. Russian roulette is not any more unpredictable. Even though the severe penalties prescribed by law have deterred many people from using marijuana, the greatest hope for reducing the use of the drug lies in a factual education program. When the exaggeration and emotionalism are cleared away on both sides of the issue, reasoned, intelligent decisions can be made. Experience has shown that existing laws have reduced the number of drug users and addicts. It will never be possible, of course, to legislate use of marijuana out of existence. But the law does discourage many from becoming dependent upon it. Legalizing marijuana does not seem to be a valid solution to the problem. To do so would not only open the door for more and more people to become dependent on marijuana, but would be the first step toward legalizing distribution of other and more powerful drugs. At least for the present, our friend Mary Jane is restrained by legal chains. The long-range effects of association with her are still being studied. Until the dangers can be fully assessed, we might better ask not why not marijuana, but why marijuana.